Welcome back. An online magazine has gone to the dogs. Unleash magazine is an online lifestyle magazine for dog owners that celebrates the local dog owner community. Avery Thrasher, the publisher with Unleash, joins us now. We're talking about pets, dogs specifically, and holiday safety. We appreciate you joining us. Thank Tell you. Tell us first of all about Unleash. How'd that get started? Well, Unleash is an online lifestyle magazine for dog owners, and we profile a lot of celebrity dog owners. And we're also the go-to resource for pet health, uh, dog care, oral care, training. Uh, we also give you news and updates about different products and innovations that are available for, available for dog owners. How'd you get into this business? Uh, well, uh, I guess my educational background is in animal science. Okay. I've always been a big dog lover and dog enthusiast. And I just didn't see any uh, publication out there that kind of appealed to uh, this certain demographic or audience. Yeah. So I felt there was a great opportunity for Unleashed Magazine to fill that niche. What kind of dog do you have? I have an old English Bulldog. Okay. Her name okay. is Leah. Leah the Bulldog. And we right. need to bring her in one of these times. <laughs> I do, yeah. I do, I Good do. Let her see. So we're talking about the holidays now. And I know right. it's a great time uh, to decorate, have fun. You got food and family over, but also you got to keep an eye on your four-legged friends as well. What are some of the things folks should look out for? Oh, definitely, definitely. Well, one of the most important things is to maintain your dog's normal diet, uh, its environment, and its routines. So what you want to do is, I know a lot of people putting up Christmas trees. You want to make sure that Christmas tree is anchored. And also you want to make sure that any decorations or ornaments are hung securely where your dog can't reach them. So basically these the ornaments should be out of your paws reach actually. Yeah. Yeah. And also to get your parties and people coming over, different types of foods. Um, and I know some of those foods can be very dangerous to the dogs, so it's probably a good idea to kind of keep an eye on what you're serving and make sure that it's out of all the dogs reach. Yeah, no table scraps for your dog. Yeah. No human food for your dog. Um, Fat, fatty foods and spicy foods can definitely uh, hurt your dog. Also, different type of candy and chocolate. So you want to make sure you stick to your dog's normal diet. You mentioned the tray, too. I'm guessing the presents as well with all the bows and the wrapping. That, that could be probably a, a problem as well. If they ingest uh, any type of tinsel, ribbons, or bows, it could cause some intestinal blockage. So you definitely want to stay away from that and keep it away from dogs. Yeah. What are some of the things that folks can be doing? Maybe they haven't had their tree up yet or mm -hmm. they haven't put their lights up. But, and what, is, what should they think about right now doing around their house to make sure they make it as pet safe as possible? I think a good idea would be to create a kind of a doggy haven or doggy oasis where you uh, take a room in your house that your dog is comfortable in, give him a bowl of water, uh, his favorite uh, chew toy, yeah. his favorite pillow, and let they be his oasis during the holiday season. I guess sometimes when you have a bunch of guests over, people it might be confused to the dog and maybe put them in that spot so he or she will, will feel comfortable and not like everybody's invading their, their privacy. Definitely, definitely. If definitely. folks want more information or if they want to check out Unleash, how can they see it? They can find us online at unleashmagazine.com. We also offer a free ebook on house training your dog if you register to our site. So there'll be some great information there. That's probably one of the biggest things when you get a new Certainly. pet. And Certainly. there might be some new dogs under the tree this year. Maybe somebody given a, a dog as a gift. Uh, what are some of the things that you should think about when you start uh, potty training your dogs? What are some of the things about when you think about potty training your dog? You should definitely make sure that you're ready to be a dog owner. Yes. Yeah, you should definitely make sure you want to get a proper leash. Uh, you might want to also enlist your dog in some dog training classes also. And you've got to realize, too, that there's going to be some hair on the carpet. There's going to be some accidents on the carpet. That's one Certainly. thing that comes along with a brand-new dog. Certainly it does. It does. You have to kind of prepare yourself for yeah. those things. All right. And uh, as far as giving dogs for a gift, we talked to folks before. It's probably something you don't want to really surprise somebody with. No, it. no, no. Also, a good idea would be to adopt. Yeah. Adopted dogs. A lot of dogs that need great homes at humane societies and shelters. Well, Avery, we appreciate you joining us. Next time you come, make sure to bring Leah. I sure right, will. Thank you, man. Thank we you. appreciate you joining us.